Good morning, church, and happy new month. It's our Thanksgiving service once again, and we welcome you to this week's edition of the COD News. My name is Yomi. This Tuesday, we shall be meeting for another revealing and expository study of God's Word at our Digging for Gold service here in the sanctuary at 6.30 p.m. The Handmaidens of the Lord shall be meeting this Wednesday at noon for another awesome session of fellowship. The theme for this week is Maintaining Your Sparkle. Staying afloat. The Christian is susceptible to sinking at any time of our life's journey. If you are not able to have a child just yet, is it as likened as you are drowning? Can you liken it to sinking and not able to keep afloat? You know, floating is the easiest thing you are supposed to do in water. Swimming is different. To just float is the first thing they teach you. What can you possibly be going through? that you can like him to sink him. I we were talking, we got talking and she said, this girl is not for my husband. And I was shocked because I've never heard about it before. And she said, this child is not for my husband. I said, who, who is the father? She told me about the man. And I said, I would like to see the man. She took me to the man. The husband doesn't know. And she was okay with it. The mental. Ma? Oh, the husband, the husband doesn't know. know. She knows and she's okay with it. She's not scared. I am scared because I've never seen it before. I only see it on movies, you know, and I'm seeing it live. So what was your reaction? I was like, let me see the man. And when I saw so the man... So you still wanted to fool God? Yes, to, the full to be story. sure. <laughs> and when I saw the man, carbon copy. And I was not like, what if the man gets to know your husband in the house gets to know? He said... It's, it's happening now that it must come out one day he will know so that is it and i was shocked i was shocked so to her it's not that deep. woman to me it's, it's not deep. drowning no she's drowned <laughs> Stop it's the woman she's that just has going a conscience to that is drowning some women have no conscience eh? their conscience is here they have no conscience they, they are going through greed let me pass the mic <laughs> Most of some people, you know, you cannot blame some women because some of their husbands, they cannot penetrate. They, they will cannot. Ask them to penetrate, they can say, go outside. It's their secret. Because I have a friend like this. Are we recording this message or we are taking it away? They, they said they discuss it together with her husband to go outside and bring her. If you can do like that, nothing happens. They're not that. They're giving others a, another way to go. Do you understand? And so it's okay. Her husband can, cannot be able to penetrate. Then they ask her to go outside and bring To uh, so go and bring the children uh, uh, for him. Four of them there. It's not from her husband. There's nothing that is so much that is worth dying an eternal death for. Nothing. Love keeps us from sinking. When we love and we are loved. It keeps us from sinking. If your marriage is seemingly childless, but you love and you are loved. When you love and you are loved. Usually, we find the African love is singular in nature. The women always say they love. If you talk to the man, he says he loves. So something is missing. This Thursday, there shall be no prayer, praise and Pentecost service as there will be a Holy Communion service taking place at the Redemption Camp at 7 p.m. On Friday, here in the sanctuary, Join us as we lift up the name of the Lord with total praise and worship at the He's Lord Praise Hour starting at noon. Then in the evening of Friday the 6th of February, 
the monthly Holy Ghost service will be taking place at the Redemption Camp. The service tagged Peace Be Still will kick off at 7 p.m. and will showcase our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, ministering. You don't want to miss this service. Visit the church website at www.cityofdavidng.org. For more information about all our services and activities and to access the live streaming online. Also, if you wish to listen to or even watch any of our previous services, kindly click on the podcast section of the website or visit our YouTube channel. On this Saturday, the 7th of February, the Arise Women's Mobile Health Outreach will be on the road once again. This time, their destination will be the open field beside the Apostolic Church in Itedo Leki Phase 1. We are calling on all of our virtuous women to make themselves available for this noble cause as we bring healthcare delivery closer to the people. In a bid to offer quality diagnostic services to the public, the Healing Stripes Hospital on Wednesday installed a new x-ray facility. Glory be to God. God's Children Great Talent Season 5 has commenced. Auditions in Nigeria held for 11 provinces under the Apapa family across 12 venues in Lagos and Ibado on the 24th and 31st of January. Over 1,500 children registered to have a chance to win the 5 million Naira Grand Prize. Auditions in the United Kingdom, United States, Ireland and mainland Europe are scheduled to hold this coming week. Watch out for the quarterfinals in February as we continue to celebrate our children's talent to the glory of God. Do you have a lovely voice and have you been looking for an opportunity to use your talent for the Lord? Not to worry, the wait is over, as the church is looking for committed people to join the choir as they currently are expanding. If you're interested, please wait after the service. Are you passing through a difficult phase in your life right now that is holding you back from honoring the Lord with your thanksgiving? This next clip shows how some prominent figures were able to turn their hard times around through the act of gratitude. Take a look. Gratitude The king of the inventors, with over 2,000 inventions to his name, Thomas Edison, as a child, was treated as if he were mentally handicapped. He was even expelled from school. To make matters worse, he developed a hearing impairment at a young age. As he looked back over his life in his later years, however, Edison said that he was always grateful for everything he lacked, pointing out that when he entered his lab, he could concentrate on his work because he didn't hear all the noise, and that he was able to produce a lot of research results thanks to that. Edison said, I am thankful to God for making me deaf. Famed Japanese businessman, Chairman Matsushita, revealed the reason for his success. I was born with three great blessings from heaven. I was poor, frail, and uneducated. Sir, you were born with all the disadvantages in the world, yet you say they are actually blessings from heaven. I'm not sure I understand. I realized the truth that I couldn't live well unless I worked hard because I was born in poverty. And because I was born frail, I realized early on how precious health is and taking care of my body and health. Though I'm now 90 years old, I have the health of someone in their 30s. As far as my education goes, I quit in the fourth grade, so I've always considered everyone in the world to be my teacher, and I have tried to learn from them. I obtained a great deal of knowledge and common sense as a result. Others may look at my environment and see it as completely unhappy. But to me, it's all gifts and opportunities given by heaven. Gratitude enriches our lives. It's up to us whether we complain and fail or accept things with gratitude, creating even more to be grateful about.
It's our prayer that as we give the Lord a dance offering today, he will bring down every wall of Jericho in our lives. He will turn our shame into fame and give us a jaw-dropping testimony in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the City of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true, where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today. Do have a lovely week.